I'm going to take you on a quick end-to-end -end, uh, drive through a procedure on this wire cutter. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to scan the QR code. So the QR code, I scan it, lays down a digital QR code. It's going to pull up some information about the asset itself. I do have some basic history on the asset. You know, I've completed two jobs on this particular asset. I have some documents here. I have this uh, user manual. I can actually grab that, look it around, I can pin it to a particular location. I could scroll through, but wouldn't recommend it. What we recommend is bookmarking the exact pages that you need for any given step in a procedure or something that you might be working on. There are other documents here as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do is get into this template. Templates for us are a set of instructions. You know, you see one here, and you know, this is a relatively short procedure but you could have a hundred, a thousand different procedures on a particular uh, asset that might be out there, or maybe even sub procedures. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my jobs and I'm going to start this job that I have already set up here. And a few different things you could see is I already started, I was about two minutes and 54 seconds into it, but I'm 0% complete. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resume this job and you can start to see this little arrow moving across. The arrow's pointing me over here to my first step. Quick video pops up. Looks like a disc is being inserted in the side of the machine. You know, if, if that wasn't clear, maybe I want to see a still image. I'll take a quick pick, peek at that. Makes sense. I think I have enough information to complete this step, so I'm going to take my disc. I do have some indicators that are pointing to the area as well. So if all else fails, just look for, you know, where things are being pointed to. I'm going to open up the hatch and put my disc in there. I'm going to move to the next step. Over to edit. So next step will be moving to edit. I'm going to look at the photo, see where edit is. Oh, it's over here on the side. So I'm going to select edit and move to the next step. It says select load, user disk, scroll through the list and find file. Okay, it looks like loads there, user disk, and then there's, the, looks like the file. But maybe that's not enough information. Maybe I need to watch a quick video. Load, user disk. Scroll down to find my program. 750 revision. Okay. So now I'm going to go through that myself. I'm select load. Select user disk. Now I'm going to scroll down to find my file. And I have this little sheet because I'm a new guy and I don't know what file. 750 rev x. I'm going to double click on that. I'm just going to pull it up and now I'm going to move to my next step. Now my program is up. All of this data is for cutting taper. We're not cutting any taper on this particular part, so I'm going to take this out. Looks like I need to remove some code. Okay, this is a little more clear. So it says select first, then press second. Okay. So I'm going to select all of this. And select delete. Close that out. Move to the next step. up a quick photo note. It says validate cutting conditions. So I have to select cutting search. Okay. Maybe I'm new. I don't understand, you know, all the different cutting conditions. Maybe I at least understand that piece of it, but I don't understand how to program. So validating what we recommend if you are new is now you would call someone for help. 
Maybe I need to call a supervisor, an author, somebody who created the procedure, maybe somebody who's a recent operator of this, or a whole list of other people, and I could just call them quickly by selecting them, quick call, see what I see video, so they could see the screen, they could validate the screen, they could validate the conditions for me, so I can make sure that everything's accurate and not make any mistakes. It says go to graphic then draw. So graphic and then draw, okay. So I'm gonna come over here to graphic and then I'm going to hit draw to see if my tool comes out properly. And there it is. So I have the tool and then I have uh, an image here of what it's supposed to look like. Looks good, so I think we're in good shape. You know, one thing I did show you though, is leaving evidence. So as I went through, if I needed to leave evidence that I completed this procedure, maybe I could just say, add a text note, and just type in completed. So I have that in there, that's stored, and now I close out the job. So the job is now closed out, but the key here is as I come over to the back end, you could see everything was closed out. You could see how long it took me to complete the job. You could see when the job was completed. Also, as I scroll through the steps, you could see that evidence that I left is here as well. So I can mark faults, I can leave evidence here. And so I, then I could see as a supervisor on the back end in real time, as soon as I add that evidence, it gets sent to the back end for somebody to review if that's your procedure. Or you can make a quick call, somebody could validate it visually, and that will get recorded as well. So there's a lot of different ways you could do that, but that's uh, mostly what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.